Thank you for calling my apartment. This is Jessica. Hey, Jessica. Uh, this is Lieutenant Tug Pendleton. I'm calling you from the International Space Station up in space. You know, no, you're not. Yeah, I am. What are you talking about? No, I'm not. Why would I lie about that? <laughs> How can I help you? Uh, well, I dropped a socket wrench. I was doing a spacewalk, and I think it landed in the like the courtyard area of your apartments there. Could it go check? Seriously? Yeah. I know. I'm sorry. It's so inconvenient. It's like a it's like a standard size socket wrench, and it um it says property of NASA on it. It's like a, stamped on it. This isn't a joke. No, not at all. I, why would I joke about this? Oh, it, because it just totally sounds like a joking phone call. Oh no, 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 ma'am, no, not at all. It's just uh, <laughs> it, it, it's like property of NASA. I don't think you, you know. Like I, I don't want someone to pick it up and it ends up on eBay. It's like oh, okay. Made of titanium and yeah. Uh, okay. Probably space radiation um, on it. Yeah, I'll have to just do a do a walk around walk around my premises. Okay. And then how can I reach you to oh, let hold. you know that I found it? I can hold. Oh, it's going to take me longer. It's four buildings on this property. Oh, I see. Okay. It's probably glowing. You know, it's been through space. It survived the, the re-entry and everything, and it's probably red hot and, and is uh, radioactive. But it's not dangerous. Okay. It's just radioactive. Don't, 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 okay, so don't. obviously don't touch it. Oh, no, you can touch it. Maybe just uh, pick it up with a handkerchief or something. Um, okay. All right. I, I could just call back, like, um, I don't know, like an hour or something? Um, yeah, maybe like in 20 minutes or so, that should be just fine. Okay. Well, thank you so much for checking, ma'am. Yeah, and what's your name again? Uh, my name is Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton from the International Space Station. Okay. Well, you guys can really zero in then and see where things fall then, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, I was looking through binoculars, and I can see straight down there, and I saw that it landed. It's, like, right in the middle of the buildings. Like, how the buildings are arranged is kind of, like, right in the center, kind of. Okay. Um, yeah, give me... Uh, so it's okay to touch it even though it's radioactive? I don't know if I feel comfortable. Oh, no, touching. it's a different kind of radiation. No, it's fine. Oh, okay. It, it's like the kind of radiation that you get from turning on, on an incandescent light bulb. Okay. <laughs> so it's fine. It's fine. It's probably all cooled off by now anyway. <laughs> okay, I'll go uh, take a look, and if you just want to give me a call back in 20 minutes, I'll let you know if I found it. Okay, 20 minutes. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, what was your bye. name again? My name's Jessica. Okay, thank you so much, Jessica. Yep, bye. Bye. <laughs> uh, it's been, uh, looks like, 25 minutes now since I talked to Jessica. So let's give Jessica a quick call, see if she found my socket wrench yet. Thank you for calling my apartment. This is Jessica. Hey, Jessica. It's Lieutenant Tug Pendleton again from the space station. Yeah, hi. Hey, did you happen to find that socket wrench? I did not at all. Oh, man. Huh, okay. Yeah, Unless, yeah and, I, and I walked every, you know, around all of our buildings. Yeah. Unless you can let me know exactly where you're seeing it, then I can go see it. Oh, we've we've uh, at this point we've passed by, so I can't even look down there anymore with my binoculars. But it seemed like it was out in the middle. I wonder if maybe a resident found it and picked it up. M maybe you yeah, could. I, I, maybe you could send out not, emails or a poster or something. Like ask all the residents if they found NASA's socket wrench. <laughs> um, it says. I, I yeah. I <clears throat> I looked around and just didn't didn't see anything okay well you know if, yeah. if it turns up do you think you can give me a call back at the number on your caller id um i don't have a caller id oh okay well i have the number here okay um it's uh area code 321 and then uh, uh the phone number is 420-6969 that, that's the direct line to the space station just ask for tuck oh okay um, when you were looking down, did um, it wasn't in a parking lot? You said it was in the grass. Yeah, I thought it was in the. It looked like grass from up here. Yeah. Okay. Because I yeah I checked all of my grass areas. Yeah, it's hard to tell because from space grass is blue and and parking lots are more of like a, a green gray. It's, it's hard to tell oh. the difference sometimes. Okay. Okay. Well, th um, thank you so much for yeah. looking. I really appreciate the help. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. Sorry I, I couldn't locate it oh, for it's, you. Oh, it's no problem. E either way, you've, you've served your country, and 
We're very <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> okay, well, have fun up in space. Okay, thanks. Have fun okay. down there not being in space. It must be boring. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Pendleton away! You're listening to The Snowplow Show Here on Frank Coolmation We'll call the lords and customers Causing massive aggravation Who is not a hobo? He is your host He drinks for loco with his jelly and toast You're listening to episode 536 of the Snowplow Show. I'm your host, Brad, and today's sponsors are Curaz, Teen Wolf Jesus, Badger Teeth, Cody No Name, and Random. Thanks to them, these shows keep happening relatively frequently, I guess, sort of, except for the past four days or so. It's been a while. It's been a busy weekend here, but that would be the fault of Curaz and Teen Wolf Jesus and Badger Teeth and Cody No Name and Random. Blame them. First order of business today would be the PLA meetup in San Jose, California, which is on March 16th, 2019. And that is apparently just, uh, I don't know, 10 days away or something, 11 days, something like that. It's not much longer. I still don't know if I can go. I'm still waiting to find out. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. But who cares about me? There's going to be so many people there. It's going to be crazy. You definitely should plan to go to that on March 16th in San Jose, it's going to be a meetup at a barcade type place. But this one, unlike in Chicago, is an all ages barcade. So any kids that are listening, you are free to run away from home and go to this meetup in California because they will let you in. It's in a mall. So even if the venue sucks, because none of us have been to this venue, we don't know anything about this barcade, but it's going to be inside of a mall. So if it sucks, you can just go hang out in the food court together until they throw you out. It should be lots of fun. Dwight's going to be there. And Laugh Track Matt and Zax, of course, are going to be there. And I guess Riley's not going to be there. He was in a car wreck. And I don't know what's going on with Don Fickles. Apparently, he was in a car wreck, too. There's something going around in the PLA with car wrecks. Somebody's putting some voodoo spells on the PLA and making everyone get in car wrecks. But Nick Caesar, Buster Casey, uh, who else? I always forget. I never can remember. There's going to be a lot of people there, though. I know Kat and her husband's going to be there. Katie Baker's going to be there. Uh, Buckshot, Dragonmere. There's going to be at least 50 people there this time, but I wouldn't be surprised if we had like 100 or something. Because in Chicago, what do we do? Like two weeks of planning? And we had 25 people there. This one, it's had six months of planning. So I bet you there's a bunch of people that's going to show up to it. It's going to be epic, and I'm probably going to miss it. Whatever. I don't care. Dwight's going to have PLA stickers. I mailed him some PLA stickers. If you're into that sort of thing, there's some stickers there. I need to say thank you to a few people. Because people have been sending me shit in the mail, like Sebastian M, he sent me monitor stands and a ground loop noise isolator and an XLR condenser mic, which I'm going to use for the payphone show if I ever do one of those again. And by the way, Sebastian, I have hit my head on the monitor stands twice now. You know, I've been doing stuff behind the desk and I stand up and those things stick out a little bit. Unlike my old gas pipe monitor stands, my hobo looking gas pipes that I used to have up there, they didn't stick out. So I've probably gotten a concussion thanks to Sebastian M. But no, really, thanks, Sebastian M., for sending all the crap in the mail. Uh, a guy named Lax988, he sent me a, um, I don't know, like, what is it called? It's like, a, it's, a, it's a phone mount for your wall. Say you want to put a phone in your kitchen, and you got to mount this metal thing up on the wall so that a phone can hang on it. And I already have one of those in my kitchen. It's a plastic one, but this one is cool because it's metal and has a bell symbol in it that you'll never see because there's a phone mounted over it, but it's still kind of cool. I'm going to put it up in my kitchen soon. Thanks, Lex988. He sent me a letter that says he's been a longtime fan of the PLA since 2004, and he's enjoyed countless shenanigans, endless hours of content by Roy and Sensei Doug and Mr. Dobelina and Carol and the rest of the PLA crew have offered. So that's why he sent me this. Thank you, Lax988. That's pretty cool. I'll definitely put this up in the kitchen soon. Or maybe up here in the Situation Room. I don't know. Patrick sent me some more of those lanyards, uh, the PLA 3D printed symbols. I met him in Chicago, and he brought a bunch of those with him, and they were awesome. Everyone loved them. And he sent me a few more of those, and I should have sent them to Dwight now that I think about it, but I didn't. I'm so stupid. But if I go to the meetup, I will bring them with me, and some more of you can have these plastic PLA bell symbols. Thank you, Patrick, for sending those in. I think it was Great Big Pete that sent me one of those Billy Bass fish that go on the wall. 
except that it's designed for Alexa. Shut up, Alexa. Alexa's turning on. So, like, you connect it through Bluetooth to your what's her face machine, your Amazon blah 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 thing, and whenever Alexa talks, the fish on the wall starts moving around and talking through her voice. It sounds pretty stupid, and I'm definitely going to hook that up soon in my kitchen. My kitchen's going to be all pimped out with bell symbol phone mount things and Billy Bass fish. And also thanks to Olga and King Richard. They sent me some stickers for their prank call show called Another Prank Call Show. And before Christmas, they sent me a DNA kit. I guess they want to find out if I'm their son or something. But they sent me a DNA kit from 23andMe.com. That was on my Amazon wish list, and they sent it to me for Christmas. I wrapped it up for myself and opened it on Christmas, and I got the results back from it. We'll get into that a little bit later, because I have some plans with that on today's show. But thanks for that, King Richard and Olga. Uh, there's other things. I don't know. I have a big pile of crap here on the desk. Papers and envelopes and stuff I need to go through. Oh, yeah. Ryan K. sent Carol a dildo. Thanks for that, Ryan K. Get a lot of use out of that here. I got a Christmas card here from the women of Delta Gamma in, I think this is Columbus, Ohio. They had to abbreviate Columbus because that's just too long to spell out. But they put a dollar bill in it, which is very confusing. Why would they do that? Thanks, women of Delta Gamma. Somebody recently, like within the past year, they started, you know, signing me up for a bunch of colleges. I guess they're trying to tell me something, like I need to be educated. So I started getting a bunch of, um, you know, like t-shirts from colleges and... Uh, stickers and stuff. The stickers were pretty cool. I threw the t-shirts under my kitchen sink. You know, I'm just gonna use those to like clean the house. But I think that has something to do with this. You know, like the, the women of Delta Gamma are just trying to get more people to come to their school. So they're bribing them with dollar bills and Christmas cards. What a great idea. Anyway, let's get on with today's show. I think today could be really fun or it might just suck really bad. We'll see. Let's find out together. Phone losers of America. What are they trying to say? That they're losers? And what's with this cactus business? How can a group of people be so obsessed with telephones? I don't get it. What's fascinating about a telephone? Normal people use telephones to call people. They don't obsess over them. No. Get a life, phone losers! They have a ridiculous YouTube account where they post immature prank calls and idiotic contests. It's the dumbest thing ever! Who watches this crap? For 20 years now, they've been doing the same old stupid shtick. Cactus. 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 They need to grow up, get a life, find girlfriends, and find jobs. They really are losers. So as I mentioned before, King Richard and Olga, they got me a DNA kit for Christmas on 23andMe.com. So I know all this really useful stuff about myself now such as that I have 305 variants of Neanderthal DNA, and that's more than 89% of everyone on 23andMe. Does that mean I'm in the top 11% of Neanderthals? Or am I reading that wrong? Because it says the highest on all of 23andMe.com has 397 variants, and I have 305, but that's still like way up there. My half-sister only has 200-something, so clearly it was on my mom's side of the family that was out there hooking up with the Neanderthals back in the day. It looks like I'm 49% uh, from the United Kingdom and Ireland and 23% from Germany. Basically, I'm just really, really white. 2% Scandinavian, 2% Spanish and Portuguese, and what else? I don't know. Nothing interesting. The thing, though, the reason that I'm talking about all of this is because 23andMe.com, they give you a gigantic list of your DNA relatives. And I mentioned my half-sister before. I didn't know that she'd also gotten a DNA test, but uh, she's on here. It, you know, it connected us through the site. I already know her. You know, we talk on Facebook and stuff. And that's my only, uh, you know, like, close, close relative. We share 20% of the same DNA. But besides her, I also share DNA with 1,091 people. And it has them all in here as a gigantic list where some of them have full names on here. Some of them just have initials. Some of them have a first name and a last initial. Some of them have pictures even. And it's all like, uh, there's a couple in here that's second to fourth cousins. You know, they estimate how I'm related to some of these people. You know, I haven't heard of any of these people. Uh, it's all third cousins and fourth cousins. There's two of them here that could be second cousins. So what I have here is a list of over a thousand third and fourth cousins. And I think there it goes up to like fifth cousin. Here, let me go to the very end of the list. Third to distant cousin, it says. 
I guess after third, they just say distant cousin. So my plan today is to call up a bunch of my third and fourth cousins. And a couple weeks ago, I put up a poll on the PLA Facebook group, which asked if your 23andMe DNA report gave you the names and locations of 1,073 relatives. Oh, that's weird. Now it's 1,091. So I've gained almost 20 new relatives in the past couple weeks. I guess a lot of people are signing up for this thing. You know, people get this for Christmas and stuff, I hear. Anyway, my poll asks, what would you ask them on the phone? And there's a bunch of good ideas in here. The first one's from King Richard. He says, I need a kidney transplant and you're my only match. And then I regret jumping, wants me to hit on him, ask him out for drinks. Be like, hey, baby, are you single? Uh, One I added in there is, this is Sensei Doug from 23andMe Customer Support. We notice you have the snake eyes gene. That's kind of stupid. Will wants me to say that their parents are brother and sister. Aaron says, this is Roy calling from 23andMe Support. The labs aren't receiving a signal. We need you to flip all the switches. Like, whatever that means. Like we've locked onto your DNA and we can monitor you at all times now. I'm about to be homeless. Can I move in with you for a while? Come on, we're family. That's from David. Anthony wants me to ask if they found my Kenny Loggins cassette. I don't know. There's just a bunch of ideas here. Some of them kind of amusing. So that's my plan today. I was going to do this over the weekend, which would have been a better idea because I think people are more likely to be home on the weekends. And right now it's the middle of the day. Is anyone going to even answer their phones? And am I even going to be able to look up people's phone numbers? Are those going to show up on 411.com? This whole thing is probably a horrible idea, but here we go. Let's give this a try. Hello, Wendy? Who's calling? Uh, th- this is Steve Dave. Um, I'm, I'm your fourth cousin. I live over in Illinois. Is this Wendy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I found you on uh, 23andMe.com. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. We're, our, um, we share a set of third great-grandparents. Oh, what, 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 what name? My, oh, my name is Steve Dave. No, the grandparents? Oh, it doesn't say the great grandparents' names in here. I, I haven't I haven't really developed my family tree yet. Oh, okay. But anyway, um, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I was just wondering if uh, if you know if you want to hook up, since we're fourth cousins and all. And where do you live? I'm in Illinois, but you know I, I travel a lot. I get get up to Washington a couple times a year. I was thinking we could, you know. Do a little bit of the old hanky panky together. Uh, no. Why not, dude? You're strange. Don't call me. No, again. no, I'm not strange. We're 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 fourth cousins. Dude, don't call me again. But listen, Bye. we already share a point six three percent. Okay, whatever. I have a great pickup line, by the way, for my fourth cousins that I really want to use. So there we go. My very first phone call to. One of my relatives, instead of actually talking to them and seeing if we have anything in common, I'm just going to hit on them. Try and get in their pants, you know? Nothing wrong with that. I'm not having a very good rate of hits so far, and I don't mean, you know, cousins that have turned me down for sex. I mean, I've called quite a few people, and I'm getting a surprisingly large amount of phone numbers here. Like, I've got a list here of five people so far whose numbers I have, but they didn't pick up their phones. And then maybe another five I couldn't find their phone numbers. And I can't even use 411.com for this because they don't have separate fields for the first name and the last name. It's just one single field. So if I put a name in there, it just gives me a bunch of completely unrelated names. So I'm using anywho.com. I don't know if that's the best one to use, but that's what I'm using. I'm having pretty good luck with it. So it looks like I'm done with the first page of these. That's the first 25 of them. I think this is going to go faster than I expected. Can't believe my third cousin called me strange. I don't understand why. Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and phone There's another one that I can call later. Maybe I'll try these tonight, like late tonight, when everyone's home from work. Hello? Hello, Jack? Yes? Hey, Jack, it's Steve Dave. I'm your fourth cousin. My fourth cousin? Yeah. Once or twice or three times removed. Hell if I know. It's just like... <laughs> Did, did you, you, you're like on the 23andMe.com, right? Right, I sure did. I was looking at that again last night and made some additional comments. Oh. Uh, gosh, where are you now? What 
location? I'm in uh, Illinois, but... Well, I can tell you wasn't from the south. <laughs> oh, can you? Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, hey, uh, I was wondering, you know, like, I needed a new kidney. A new kidney? Yeah, yeah, you don't happen to have, like, a, a spare, you know, like, kidney you're not using. I think I'm a, at 76 years old, I don't think they'd take it. No, it's cool. I'm pretty sure they will. They, they said it doesn't matter. You know, it'll get me a couple years. Well, if I start getting real sick and no, I ain't going to survive, I'll contact you. <sighs> Darn it. I guess we'd be, uh, that wouldn't be, that'd be too late maybe, though. Yeah, um, maybe. I don't know. No, I don't have one, and my body condition right now is not in the best of shape. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm just kidding about the kidney thing. Oh, okay. Well, if you, if you need one, uh put out the word maybe somebody's got the same match. yeah yeah maybe uh, yeah, i was just testing you're my you. fourth my fourth cousin uh, yeah it says our third great grandparents uh i don't know i don't know how it all works all right well my let's see my grandparent was fred hale Mac and he was the oh. chief of police and the sheriff of jefferson county old man story in Alabama. activated yep and I got a bunch of stuff on him. Got pictures of him and everything standing up by the Jewish temple in Birmingham with the Birmingham band. Wow. Birmingham police band. Wow. Uh, what if, what uh, searching have you done to track your your uh, lineage? Oh, pretty much nothing. I just I jerked off into this tube for 23andMe.com. Uh -huh. And they they sent me my relatives. You know, they sent me a list of relatives. Um, do you do you happen to have the snake eye gene? What the 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 gene the gene for snake eyes? Like, do you give people snake eyes all the time? Mm. I'm always giving people snake eyes. <laughs> I'm always just looking at them. No, I, I don't don't much do that. Do you have the gene At least that? I hope not. It's just a nasty smirk if I give anybody anything. Oh, nasty smirk gene. Hmm. Uh -huh. Do you have the gene where you uh, you obsessively squash bugs? Like you, you you just go out of your way to squash a bug? Oh no, I'm, even bugs has got got rights. I mean, oh. it depends on what oh. kind of bug it is. If it's not one that's gonna harm me, I don't fool with it. Oh, I do. I, I like harmless little ants and stuff. I don't. I go out of my way. I go on walks. I go on ant squishing walks. Oh, yep. Just just to squish bugs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck those ants. Uh, do you have the gene where you obsessively turn off the light switch five times every time, and you count? Nope. Huh. I mean, if I don't turn it off, I'll take it and hit it with my hand and turn it off. Yeah, but you got to make sure it's off. So you got to do it five times. You got to do it an oh, odd, yeah. odd number of times, five or seven, to make Why sure. Why is that? Uh, you know, it's just how it works. Electricity. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I don't have to worry about that. Gosh. Okay. I just, never heard of that one. Is that the proclivity you have on? Huh? Yeah, yeah, that's one. Um, do you have the gene that makes you obsessively prank call people on the phone all the time, constantly? I pretend you're no, the relative. No, I off the phone as best I can. You, you what? Any time the phone rings, usually if somebody uh, calling saying they need some uh, clothes or casts off or something like that for clothes, Cast. shoes, and or won't hit you up for money. So yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I don't, don't do stuff like that. I, I just make prank phone calls, like constantly, like nonstop prank phone calls, like this oh. one. What? <laughs> I don't do prank call phone calls. At age 76, I want to stay off the phone best I can, like yeah. I said. We should make prank phone calls together right now. <laughs> no, don't care to. Okay, all right, Who fine. do you want to call and prank? I don't know. I was thinking about uh, prank calling all of my relatives and saying wacky things to them. Well, there's a bunch of them down here in Alabama and uh, some up in, 
think, I don't know, like Tennessee, but uh, South Carolina. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of them up through in there. And then uh, the rest of them, points west, I guess. There were some out in California for a time. Yeah, California. (laughs) You're right. I'll second that motion. That's right. Um, The time I've been out there was on a business trip. I called this one relative over in California, and and I I asked if she wanted to fuck. And she called me strange. (laughs) I was just kidding with her, though, you know. uh, Do what now? Oh, hey, I got to go. The FBI is at the door. Well, whatever. <laughs> yeah, they're 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 banging. I think they've they've got one of those uh, ramming things. They're they're getting ready. And I, I got to go. Oh, okay. I'm I'm sorry. Hey, it's Call really again. cool talking to you. Okay. Take uh, care. All right. Bye. Bye. Wow. I'm suddenly realizing this is a really boring idea. I think I may just quit doing this and move on to something else. Because I'm just going to hear a bunch of stupid family stories. I love that he hated California though. Because that makes sense if you're in Alabama that you just completely hate California for no reason. Anyway, page three. I'm still not getting a lot of answers. And when I do, they're pretty boring. You may have noticed. Hello? Hello, Don. Yes. Hey, it's Steve Dave. I'm your fourth cousin. I, I found you on 23andMe.com. Okay. How you doing? Good. That's good. Hey, um, do you think do you think I could borrow twenty bucks? <laughs> You're teasing me, right? No, times are rough. Um, you know, just twenty bucks. You've got twenty bucks, right? Yeah, but I don't know you. No, we're we're we share point two five percent of our DNA. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. I I live work right now. I live in uh I live in St. Louis. We're practically nice. we're Good practically you. neighbors. I could drive over and get it. It would cost you more than twenty bucks to drive here. No, I'd steal a car. <laughs> okay. It's cool. Hey, does uh crime no. run in your family? No. Alright, just curious. So I guess our third great grandparents uh were related or something. Hmm. Their brother and sister. Who's that in the background? Right. That's people at work. Okay. I'm at work. How did you get my work number? Oh, I don't know. I, I just looked it up on anywho.com, and it's right there. Huh. Yep. All right. I, I just, uh, you know, I just, I just, I just want to borrow 20 bucks. That's all. Like, do, do you have PayPal? No, I don't have PayPal. Oh. Do, do you think you could Western Union it to me? So <laughs> no. So I don't have to drive. No. Do you know anything about our great grand grandpa, um, or I guess our great great grandpa Elias? You know the nope. the Ku Klux Klan leader. Nope. No. Oh, nobody wants to talk about him. I don't understand why. I was hoping somebody would. So have- I don't know anything about him. Oh yeah, we're we're uh, we're basically a uh, Ku Klux Klan royalty. Oh, that's fabulous. He was a pedoph- what did you say your name was? Uh, my name's Steve Dave. You can find me on um, the 23andMe site. Just look for Steve Dave. Yeah, I don't, have, I don't go on there. Well, you didn't, you didn't put your... You, you, didn't, you don't have an account on there? No, so you must be getting the wrong Don Wells. Wait, no. No, because... No, cause it, it has... Like, you, you have too uh, weird of a name for it to be someone else. Don Wells? Yeah. Yeah, that's... <laughs> so weird, man. <laughs> well, isn't it Don? No. Oh, well, shit. Can I borrow 20 bucks anyway? <laughs> no, but good luck. Hey, since we're not related, do you want to hook up? How did I get a completely different Don? I mean, it says right here her name with the last name that's on 23andMe.com. This is very confusing. The number you have dialed, 7815171, has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this recording in error, please check the number and try your call again. 
Well, that was an odd disconnection recording. I'm going to leave that one in there because I'm sure you guys give a shit about that, but we had two different voices doing the disconnection recording. That's something you don't hear too often. The number you are trying to reach is out of service. There's another one. Out of service? Who says out of service? Hello? Hello? Is Richard there? Who's calling? That's Steve Dave. Pardon? Steve Dave. And what's this about? Well, I'm calling from 23andMe support. He's a member here on our website. It's just like a little problem we're having. So is he there or not? Well, I don't know if he knows what you're talking about, but I'll see. Okay. Hello. Hello, Richard. Yes. Hey, um, this this is Gary from Twenty Three and Me. Uh, you're on our website with the DNA thing. DNA thing. Yeah, you submitted your DNA to our website. No, I didn't. Oh, yes, you <laughs> did. We have it right here. We have it in our database. We just wanted to find out because there's this guy that's going around. He's going around scraping DNA off of doorknobs and, and submitting it to our site. And he might live in your neighborhood. Do you know a guy named Mr. Bol- Boligard? Nope. That's not familiar to me. Okay, yeah, it must be him again. Uh, we're just trying to weed these out. Yeah, we, we've got your DNA here. Um, like we, can, we can see... <laughs> yeah, like, somebody else must have given it to you. Yeah, yeah, I think Mr. Boligard did. He lives in your neighborhood. Uh, it, it shows wow. here, though, that uh, you're 23% doorknob. And um, your your parent your great great grandparents are actually brother and sister. Oh, that's funny. No, no, I'm completely serious. It shows right here on the computer. Not trying to make a joke. Okay, well that's fine. Uh, I don't know, um, but I don't have any interest in what whatever's going on. Okay, well yeah, you should tell your neighbors to stay off of your your damn porch because he's been getting DNA off of people's doorknobs in that area. Well, all right, thank you, sir. Well, you're welcome. Hey, you don't have to have an attitude about it. All right, that was odd. So that one, he didn't have his city listed, so I searched his name and the entire state, and two of them came up. One of them had a disconnected number, and one of them was him. And I guess he was the wrong one. And as long as I'm stealing ideas from King Richard, I should probably mention his show, another prank call show. He did this episode where he called up a bunch of people in a neighborhood and told them all that he was going around scraping DNA off of their doorknobs. And a few people got pretty pissed off about that and yelled at him a bunch. He always says his name is Winston Bolagard. That was a good episode. In fact, I just found that episode, and I'm going to play a small clip of it. We're going to take a break from my unfunny prank calls and listen to King Richard. Everyone in the neighborhood. Hey, what's the look, man? You, you should have asked my permission before you did this, man. And Sam, you had you had no business getting any of our information. Well, I mean, I don't it's appreciate it. it. What's, I, I don't know. It's, I don't appreciate it at all, but you need to, you need to leave us off of any other list you got. You got me. But I've already got the results here. Like I might as well, well share well, them with I, you. I, I, no, I don't want to hear it. Wilson. You just well, go ahead. And, we'll just you keep them. And you go ahead and you can burn those. All right. Just burn make sure you stay out of my yard. Well, I've got them right here in front of me. Like yeah, well, just, just, sure you just you let just, me give you a couple. Let, listen, listen. Let, listen, listen, let me give you a couple examples. Hey, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Let me give you a couple examples. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Let me just read a couple examples. It'll be funny. Come on. Just let me say my things. Let me just say my things. Oh, that's... No, you're not. You don't even know where I live. No, you won't. You're stupid. You sound stupid. It shows here on the test results that you're 15% retarded. I tell you what. Bring your ass down here and tell me that. You think you're so cool? Well, come on down here and tell me that. Yep. That's from another prank call show where he did the DNA thing before I did this DNA thing. I'll put a link to that one in the show notes if you want to go listen to it. It's somewhat amusing. It's definitely better than this show so far. I'll be surprised if anyone's still listening at this point. We're sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer... Is that normal for a disconnected message to sound like it's a tape spinning up at the very beginning? Or is that just some weird thing that just happened? Let's find out. We're sorry, you have reached... Weird. 
I think these disconnection recordings are probably more interesting than my show today. Hello? Hello, is Ronald Brown? There's no Ronald here. Okay, well, geez, don't bite my head off, lady. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm oh. just telling you there's no Ronald here. Okay, well, are you just the way you said it, you know. I had a pin in my mouth. I'm sorry I was writing. A pin in your mouth? Yeah, I had a pin in my mouth. I was writing notes. It's pronounced pin. Pen. Yeah, pin. Okay, I had a pen in my mouth. All right, where the hell's Ronald? I don't know which Ronald you're looking for. Well, how many Ronalds are there? Are there multiple Ronalds? There are no Ronalds here, but there are... I don't, I don't know exactly who you're looking for. Ronald Peony. And he would be what age? Uh, hell if I know. I ain't, his okay. damn, I ain't his damn secretary. Okay, are you a relative? Well, I sort of am. I'm, I'm his third cousin. I found him here on 23andMe.com. He sent his DNA in. Did he give you this address? No, address? I dialed a phone number. Oh, this number. phone number. I'm sorry, this phone number. It's okay. Um, no, I just looked it up on the Internet. Okay. Uh, oh. So, oh, well, I guess uh, maybe I'll email him here on the website. That sounds good. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm just trying to hit him up for $20. That's, a, that's all. Oh. Well, I have relatives that are named Ronald, but I don't have any i don't have access to any phone numbers or addresses uh, i apologize balls okay well get back to your pin stuff or whatever you're doing taking my notes okay what, what notes on what uh i'm creating a flyer for a flyer for what for a uh, food collection okay i approve then it's fine Good. carry on Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Well, she was nice. Very helpful, that lady. Hello. Hello. Is Miranda around? Miranda doesn't live here. Oh, darn. Okay, well, she gave me this number. What do you need her for, buddy? Hey, I'm not your buddy, pal. Uh, me and her, we just happened to... And I'm not your pal either, buddy. That's much my daughter you're talking about, but she doesn't live here. Okay, geez, Don't settle down. Don't ask me when you call my number. Well, to tell her not to give people your number if you're going to be a big old grouchy pants. Where you live at, buddy? I'm um, here in town. Why? Why don't you just come right over here to my apartment if you know where I live at? Well, if and Miranda's... I'll show you what an old grouchy pants is. If Miranda's not there... i years old. You sound like you're about 25. I'll stop your nose in the ground if you want to come over here. I don't no. I don't want to come over there if you're going to stomp my nose into the ground. That doesn't sound like a good time. I no, just, it doesn't. I, I I just wanted I mean, to talk to Miranda. Jesus. I know, but if you don't, if you ain't telling me who you are and being a smart ass. Well, I I tried, but you just started question. yelling at me. Oh my God. You having a bad Buddy, day? That's where I am. Just doing bite Someone my head off. Call me this late just, night, ask for my daughter. It's not even that late. Eight o'clock. Yeah, that's not late at all. Nine o'clock is the last time I answer a phone around here. Well, That's what I'm saying. See, My dad's see? in the hospital, so I worry about everything. See? When a phone call comes, a strange number. See, I, I called in before 9 o'clock. You're welcome, you stupid motherfucker. Guess I can cross that one off the list. Damn kids giving their parents' phone number. We screen calls, so leave a message, and we'll either pick up or call you back. Thank you. Bye. Michael. Michael. Michael, pick up, pick up, Michael, it's me, Michael, Mike, Mike. Hello. Uh, hey, Michael. Yes. It's Peter from, uh, I'm with 23andMe, you know, you sent your DNA into us. Yes. And I'm just calling to let you know, we're required by law to let you know that we're, uh, Selling your DNA to the Chinese government. All right. So we're going to be uh, sending them all of your information and a sample of your DNA. What's that for? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what they do with it. That's just, you know, it's just what they, they just asked for it, you know. All right. 
So we're going to be sending that to the Chinese government. Is that okay? Yeah. Great. And also, um, do you think, like, are you indoors right now or something? We can't get a lock on your uh, DNA from the satellite. So what do you want me to do? Uh, can you go out? Can can you bring your phone outside for a minute? We're we're just trying to make sure uh, we can lock in on your DNA. No, I'm sorry, I don't have time right we, now. We might need to do a reboot. Crap! Michael's busy. I can't believe he picked up though, with me screaming into his answering machine. That was surprising. Hello. Hello, Diana. Yes. Oh, thank God you answered. This is Gary from Twenty Three and Me. You, you yes. Sent, you sent in your DNA to us. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um. So this guy from the Chinese government, he wants us to send over, uh, the vial of your DNA to the Chinese government. Is that cool with you? Oh, go go to go to bed. Go to, go to bed. What what does that mean, Diana? <laughs> well, you know, she didn't say no, so I think it's cool if we go ahead and send that over, right? Oh man, that was that was fun. So it's a little bit later now. I made the rest of those calls earlier today, and since then I've waited a little bit. So here's the thing. Let's see. Um, I recorded for five hours earlier, you guys, and right now what are we at? Thirty minutes. I edited all that stuff earlier. That five hours of phone calls I did, it turned into about twenty-seven minutes. That's how much today's show sucks. Actually, I didn't think it was so bad. The stuff I did earlier just felt like it did as I was recording it because it was five hours of, you know, people not answering and disconnected numbers. But during that five hours, I compiled this list of, I don't know, another 20 numbers or so that I haven't picked up yet. She was one of them, the go-to-bed lady. And now let's try the rest of them and see what happens. But this is late night calling. Like, uh, where I am in Oregon, it's um, almost 9 o'clock. So I think that lady I just called, I think it was midnight where she is. She kind of sounded like she may have been sleeping. I don't know. Telling me to go to bed. Whatever, lady. Now, I'm not expecting, you know, like everyone here to answer. I think I'm just going to have to go back to this on a Saturday or a Sunday. Try these people again. Get them to pick up on days that they're actually home and awake. Hello. Hello, is Sally Brown? No, she's not here tonight. Really? Where is she? It's kind of late for her to be out. She's babysitting animals. Ah, what kind of animals? Well, you name it and she babysits them. Well, what kind tonight? Like goats? Is she babysitting goats? Oh, no. Well, okay, no. You, that's a lie then. You, you lied to me. <laughs> there, that's what you get. You get the buzzer. That's the lying buzzer. Sir? <laughs> Okay, he doesn't want to talk about the animals. Sir? Hello? So, I will save her for later, I guess. Let me put a little note here on her number. Hello? Hello, is Shayla around? Uh, no, she is not. She's uh, out of town. Oh, oh, okay. Wow, nobody's home tonight. It's the weirdest thing. Uh... I'm sorry. Do I know you? Oh, oh no, no, no. Who's Shayla? Is that who, who's that your uh, your your daughter or something? Your mother? She's my wife. She's my wife. Oh. Well, I, I I need to tell you something. Yeah. Um, me and Shayla, uh, you know, she has point two three of my DNA, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah. That'd be interesting to know. Yeah. I'm We've been f- doing uh, ancestry dot com and also. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. So uh, I, I just got, it's funny, I got a message from apparently one of my relatives uh, oh. emailed today, inviting me to contact her. It's, I, I, I think she's a third cousin or whatever. So. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm a fourth cousin. So, uh, uh, yeah, she, uh, Shayla actually returns tomorrow. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, shall I take a message or? Uh, no, just let her know that Steve Dave called. I wanted to ask her. Um, how she Steve, feels... I'm, Steve, I'm sorry, Steve? Steve Dave. D-A-V-E? Yep, yep, that's me. Steve Dave. Steve Dave called, okay. Yep, um... Uh, she she rel- knows you? Well, I don't think she does. I'm a relative on her, um, father's side. Yeah, she's been looking for somebody to that because, uh, uh, well, there was a problem, you know, uh, <laughs> I, I, in the sense that she believes she had a Native American... Uh, blood. Oh, yeah. No, I don't have any of that. I'm mostly just um, uh, Neanderthal here. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
Well, I'm really right, stupid. I'm Crow, Crow back in myself. No, I I don't know what I am. But anyway, uh, you sound Crow uh, I'll uh, I'll just say that you called. And are you you'll call again or something? Or yeah, yeah. I guess I'll call back. Um, I was going to ask her uh, if she wanted to maybe like. Here's the thing. I need a new kidney. Oh, I was going to see if she wanted to give me her <laughs> yeah. kidney. Sorry to hear that. Because she has two, right? What's that? Does she have two healthy kidneys or just one? Uh, you're supposed to have two. Oh, perfect. This is going to be great then. I'm, I'm going to see if she'll give me her kidney. Um, you know, I'll, I'll pay for it and everything. I, I've got like $600 here. Oh, well. Um, yep. Uh, yeah, you probably need to speak with her about that. So, yep, yep. Um, is she uh, uh, is she prone to like her genetic disposition? Is is she prone to monkey porn? M- monkey porn? I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Yeah, monkey porn. It's like pornography, but with monkeys. Uh, no, huh. I feel pretty comfortable that she's not. Well, you never know. You know, it's probably it's like some people are ashamed of that kind of thing. She might have kept it from you all these years. Well, she's done a good job. Yep. If that's the case. Yep. <laughs> well, like I said, she should return tomorrow. So. Okay. All right. Um, like, so I should call maybe around this time tomorrow then, or later. Uh, like- yeah. So I'll try to call a little bit earlier in the even- in early in the evening. It's okay. Do you know if her DNA tells her anything about like an incest fetish? I don't think I don't recall her saying anything about that. Ah, no. damn. I was going to see, you know, uh, just how she felt about that. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, well. You know us, uh, us Neanderthals. Oh, uh, uh, I wish you luck. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Whatever, so. Um, yep. All righty. Uh, okay, well, uh, okay. I'll, I'll tell her you called. Yep, yep. Tell her the guy called Steve Dave asking about incest and monkey. Okay. I'll do that. All right. Bye, honey. I love you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. I, can, I can say I love him, right? Because, you know, we're, we're related, basically. Me and that guy. Uh, it looks like um, uh, someone named Tristan said, My name is Roy, and I have an incest fetish. That was from someone named Tristan. And let's see. Somebody, <laughs> uh, Kel... His um, vote in the PLA group just said monkey porn in all capital letters. So thanks for that one, Kel. That was a good one. Monkey porn. I didn't think it would work, but it did. Plan a family reunion is what Keith Rangel wants me to do. All of my relatives are from your anus. That's Ryan Jardina's idea. What the hell, Ryan Jardina? Uh, Shayla. Okay, so let me put a note on hers. Talk to her husband. Call back Tuesday evening. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's all taken care of. I'm having much better luck with people answering tonight so far. I tried all these again earlier, like, uh, you know, in the early evening, right after I got this list. By the way, so, okay, so there was, what was it, um, like 44 pages on 23andMe of my relatives Each page was 25 people. Uh, Half of them didn't have last names or cities, so I would just exit out of those. And then a bunch of the others, the the numbers were disconnected or there just wasn't listings for them. So I got through uh, 21 pages, or no, 20 pages. I'm on page 21 now. So 20 times 25 entries. That is nearly half of the list. What is that, 500? Yeah, yeah, I think it's exactly 500, I think. I don't know. I'm not going to get a calculator to figure this out. So I have another 500 or 600 to go until I do the entire list. I don't know if I'm going to, though, because this thing was so time-consuming. Like, really, I spent the entire day on this thing. Now it's 9 o'clock. I'm still working on this show. thought I was going to have a show out today. Now I don't know. Hello. We are not available now. God damn Please it, Paul. Leave. I'm being tricky in these by using area codes in the same state that they're in, but not their area code. That's a technique that uh, robocallers like to use. Because everyone knows they'll just use your area code, but what if you use an area code that's really close by? So that's what I'm doing in this one. This one's an area code 985. I'm using area code 504, which is New Orleans, I think. Hello. 
Hello, is Paula the Brown? Recording. Ah, Paula? Hello? Hello? Paula? Does it sound like Paula? I don't know. I can't. I don't know what Paula sounds like. I'm her fourth cousin. Sorry, just a second. All right. Just a second. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, what? I thought you said you were a recording. Is that what you said? Oh. <laughs> at uh, 11.15 at night, yes. You, you think that everyone that calls at 11.15 at night is a recording? That's weird. Oh. Who is this? Uh, th this is Steve Dave. Can I talk to Paula, please? This is who? Steve Dave. Who's eBay? Steve Dave. I'm a, it's Steve. My name's Steve Dave. Steve Dave. Yeah. Just, just put and you're calling about what? I'm calling for Paula. Who's this? Is this Paula's son or something? Yeah, I'm her son. Okay. Where are you, who, where are you calling about? Well, put your mother on the phone, please. Who are you calling about? Uh, it's between me and Paula. It's uh, I'm I'm somebody that knows her. You're somebody that knows her. Yep. And your name is Steve. Steve Dave. Steve Dave. Yep. Where's Paula at? You know, I don't know where she's at. Oh, yes, you do. Come on. put her. Stop playing around, sonny boy. Ah, come on. He didn't even let me get to my line about how much of my DNA is in Paula. By the way, that other guy didn't even get that joke. I thought it was pretty funny, but that other guy is just like, oh, ancestry. Okay. Hello. Hello, Paula. Yes. Hey, it, this is Steve Dave. I'm with 23andMe. You uh, sent your DNA in to us. Uh huh. And oh, thank God you answered. This couldn't wait until tomorrow. I'm really sorry to call so late. I, I talked to your son a minute ago. Paula. Yes. So l here's the thing. Um, we found out that you are actually a clone, and there's seven of you. There's seven Paulas out there. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. Uh, please don't talk like that to me on this phone. I'm a Christian. <laughs> I can talk to you any way I want to talk to you because you don't even know who you're talking to. Oh, is this not Paula? Oh, yeah, it is. And well, I'm not a clone. Oh, you are too a clone. You think you're a unique snowflake and everything, but you are actually a clone. There's seven Paulas out there. It's a very weird situation. Yeah, I'm sure it is. And I'm we, sure it's very serious. Oh, uh, yeah. Come very. On, bring it. What do you mean, bring it? I mean, you're full of shit. Bring it. I'm not full of shit. I'm... Look, I'm the janitor here at 23andMe, and I just do my own research at night. A whenever... janitor at 23andMe? Yeah, whenever mm. the scientists go home for the night, I just kind of get on the computers and look around. And I think they're covering this up, Paula. Yeah, I'm sure you do. I don't, I don't think they want the public to know that there are clones out there. And <laughs> from what I can read here in the record, you're a part of this um, secret uh, project by the Ku Klux Klan to create the perfect white person. <laughs> but they failed and you suck. I said, why the hell are you calling me? I, I think, I feel like just, you know, you should have a right to know, you, you know, that you're a clone. <laughs> this is pretty good. Come on, bring it. I've been bringing it. And you just so what am I supposed to do? I don't know. I'm just like I've got the names and the and well, um, yeah, they're all named Paula. But I've got the phone numbers and addresses of all of the other Paulas out there. They're ex they look just like you, and they have the same personality traits. They've been watching you your entire life and watching how all of you develop, <laughs> and you know, you know, environment versus genetics and all that stuff. They've been mm -hmm. figuring it out. It turns out you're th you're the stupidest one. For talking to you, I probably am. No, no, just in general. Like, throughout your entire life, you're just incredibly dumb. <laughs> you, you That's good. You weren't given the same advantages of the, as, as the other Paulas. That's the thing. Is there a point to this conversation? Yes. I'm, I feel like you should. You have a right to know. Can I email you the, the information no. for the other Paulas? Why not? Seriously? What do you, you mean? You just fucking insulted me.
I didn't insult. No, no, this is. Hey, oh no! You can, just told me I'm the dumbest one. Can you tell that guy in the background to shut the fuck up? <laughs> T- tell your son to Dude, quiet. Do you really think you're going to make any money at this? Send your son to his room. <laughs> Not my son. Stupid shit. He told me. He, he, he told me he was your son. Mom, the yeah, tell him he sounds like he's from a 1970s movie and he doesn't sound realistic at all. <laughs> oh, no, you're the entertainment for tonight, dude. That's what you think. <laughs> I don't have to think about it. <laughs> I know, that's the problem. You never think about it. You're the dumb one. You're the dumb Paula. Why are you there's telling like, me? There's like all these different Paulas with all these different traits. And like, you know, like they all have Paula. Paula? Come on. Oh, no, Paula hung up. I was just getting to the good part that I just thought up. I was going to tell her how she's like the Smurfs. You know, you've got jokey Smurf, and you've got (laughs) brainy Smurf, and vanity Smurf. I could have told her there's a boy version of Paula out there. But no, she hung up on me. Anyway, that was uh, my my relative Paula. Isn't this crazy? Everyone that I pranked tonight, well, almost everyone, some of them have been different people, apparently. Or that's what they claim, anyway. But these are all relatives of mine. I thought I would learn something about myself tonight. I thought these people would be all just like me, but nope, they're just pretty much like anyone else I call. Like that that one, the the father, was it um, the Miranda's father or something? He was just like, dirt, 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 (laughs) I'll kick your ass, come over to my house and say that to my face, motherfucker. God damn it, I'm learning nothing tonight. All right, next on the list is Tamara. She didn't answer earlier. Let's see if she answers now. And whose idea was that, that, um... Your parents or brothers and sisters? No. I think I am saying these backwards. Oh, man. This sucks. I think I'm giving the wrong people credit for these ideas. Like this idea that says, I will vomit deep inside your butthole. I think that's from Kel, but maybe it's actually from Ryan Jardina. Here, let me look on the group page. Why is this phone just ringing constantly? Yeah, that one's from Kel. So, all right. I see how it's structured now. Don't worry, everyone. We've got this figured out. Ryan Jardina was the one saying all of my relatives are from your anus. Both really great ideas. I'll try to work both of those in. You know, your anus and vomiting deep inside your butthole. we got to get both of those in there. Uh, Chris, he says, is this working? That's his idea. Is this working? You're a genius, Chris Little. Oh, here's one by me. This is Roy from 23andMe. According to our records, you're not actually a living being. You're a hologram inside of a simulated universe. Hello. Hello, is Peter around? Who's calling? Uh, it's it's Steve, Dave. I'm his fourth cousin. Okay, hold on. Okay. Hello. Hello, Peter. Yes. Hey, Peter. It's Steve, Dave. I'm your fourth cousin. I found you on uh, 23andMe.com. Yes. Yeah. Hey. Um. Did you know we're uh, we're related by uh, like I, I guess point two three of my DNA is inside of you? I had seen that. Yeah, yeah. So uh, h- how would you feel about a little bit more of it being in there? If you know what I mean. Uh, I'm sorry. What I feel about a. H- how would you feel about a little bit more of my DNA being inside of you? Wink, wink. In terms of. Uh. Butt sex. In terms of. A uh, butt sex. You know what? I think you got your head up somewhere. Bye. Do you think, you think, you think I'm... What, what did he say? I, I, oh, I got to go back to that. I got to find out what he just said to me. I think you got your head up somewhere. Bye. I think you got your head up somewhere. Bye. That's what he said. I guess I made him have, uh, you know, butts on the mind. So he's saying my head's up my butt. Anyway, yeah, I, I guess I'm not getting any tail from Peter tonight. God damn it. I'm never going to get laid. Isn't that the best pickup line ever, though? Like, if you ever meet your fourth cousin and you want to sleep with your fourth cousin, that's the pickup line that you use. 0.25 of my DNA's inside of you already, so what's a little more going to hurt? That's fucking brilliant. I, I'm a genius, everyone. I can't believe I'm not just swimming in fourth cousin pussy. That was basically an I regret jumping idea. He wanted me to hit on my... Your call has been forwarded. He wanted me to hit on my cousins, so thanks for that one. I regret jumping. 
Let's see what else there is, because I'm about out of phone numbers here. I think we're almost done. Anthony wants me to ask if they found my Kenny Loggins cassette. Yeah, I could ask him if their DNA makes them into Kenny Loggins. See if maybe they have the bootleg, because I've been looking for that, and, you know, I figure we're relatives, so they must be into Kenny Loggins, too. Uh, We're sorry, your call cannot be completed. What? What? This was not disconnected earlier. I've tried this number three times today. Did she disconnect it? Ah. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. Did it get turned off because of me calling? I only called her like two or three times. Oh, here's a good one from Giad. He wants me to ask them to honor the family crest and get revenge for the death of their great-grandfather. I feel like I would need some ominous music playing in the background for that one. But I don't know if that's going to happen. Like, I've only got three numbers left here. Nobody's picking up all of a sudden. I was having really good luck with these here for a little while. Edison wants me to compare penis sizes to them. And Stan wants me to say their DNA results are the closest we've ever seen to an ape. We want to do further testing because they might be the missing link. Oh, hello? Hello? Oh, Kevin? No. Oh, Can I ask who's calling? Oh, I need to talk to Kevin. Uh, th- this is Stan. Uh-huh. And, and what's it about? Well, he submitted his DNA to 23andMe.com. Uh-huh. Oh, it's so important. Can you put him on? He's not available right now. Oh, I can take a message, though. Well, can you tell him that he might be the missing link? Um, His DNA results are the closest we've ever seen to an ape, and we want to do further testing with him? Uh Uh-huh. Like, we we think he's... You're you're basically... Are you the wife? You're basically married to a a monkey. Uh Uh-huh. Either a monkey or an alien from another world. We're we're not sure yet. That's why we we need to do the further tests. I guess I'll let him know that. Okay, where is he at? What, what's, oh. what's he doing? Like, is he out all night just hanging out with hussies or something? Is there a number you'd like to leave? Uh, just the one on your caller ID. Just use that one. That one will work. But really, wh- where is okay. he at? Like, why is he not even home? Like, what's what's the deal here? I see no reason to provide you with any personal information. Well, no, it's cool because I- I'm with 23andMe.com. Personal information is what we're all about. People send in their DNA. We know everything. So it's fine to tell me. I'm, I'm like, you can, you, I'm, I'm like your diary. Just tell me everything. Yeah, you have a good night. Ma'am. Ma'am. So apparently she's racist against Neanderthals, I think. She's probably going to ask for a divorce. Be like, I didn't sign up for this. Uh, down to fuck. That's what Becky Cracker. Hello. Hello, th- this is Gary. I'm your uh, I'm your fourth cousin. Is this Debbie? Yeah. Hey, Debbie. I needed to find out if you had the DTF gene. The what? The DTF gene. I have no idea. I'd have to look. Okay. Yeah. I I just it doesn't show on your report whenever I compare my DNA with your DNA. But uh-huh. yeah, I was just I, I've got the DNF. I've got the DTF gene, and I was just wanting to find out if you, if you have the DTF gene. Uh, hold on a minute. I'll have to I think I just thought go of an, into it. Okay, all right. Where are you calling from? Uh, I am in Alabama, but I think my caller ID probably shows something else. I don't know. No, it just uh, came up a name, because usually I'm in bed by now. It's uh, 25 to 1 here. Oh, wow. That's, that's late for there. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's the same yeah. for me, because I'm in Alabama. Um. Wow, you're up late. What are you doing up so late? You must. You, I was watching TV. Oh, okay. Let's see, you must really be in the mood to DTF tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. <sighs> Let me see. I gotta sign in. How much Neanderthal were you? Yeah, I'm. I'm looking at all this. I don't remember. It's been a while since I looked on it. Oh, I know. I was like in the top twelve uh, percent or something of Neanderthals. I'm base. Oh, I think we had a lot more than that. Oh wow, wow! Must run in the family. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't know I had any relatives in Alabama. Oh really? Because uh, yeah, I show a bunch in Alabama. I've, I've talked to a few of them today. Ah. Now, 
was my number on there? Yeah, yeah. I just looked on your profile, and there's your phone number. I'm just like, okay, I'm going to call it up. I took that off. Nope, nope. It's right there, right there in the profile. Okay, let's see. I do forget my password. I said I haven't been in it. Oh, I know what it is. You want me to tell you? Uh, no. It's monkey, capital M, and then a dollar sign, and then four, six. No, that ain't it. Oh, shit. I thought maybe we would have thought of the same passwords because we're related. Uh, no. (laughs) Darn. Okay, here we go. Um, now you, you said your name was what? Gary. What's the last name? O'Neill. Okay, I'm looking on here. Yeah, no, no, just look and see if you have the DTF gene. Because I know I do, especially right now, after all these four locos. Let's see here. I've got 1,109 relatives. Oh, wow. You have, how do you have... Well, yeah, I guess that makes sense. I, I only have like a 1,000 um, or something. Almost 1,100. Uh-huh. DTF gene. See if you're DTF positive. Wink, wink. Uh. Uh. Okay. I don't know if I have the gene one. The DTF gene? For the Neanderthal, I've got 287 genetic variants. Oh, I got more than that. I've got, um, oh, let's see. Mm-hmm. I've got a crazy, I got 305. Ah. Yeah. I look like a monkey, too. It's weird. Chit. I'm still trying to figure this out here. Okay. Where yeah. would the genes be? Uh, it's, um, I don't know. Maybe it's in the paternal haplo group. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Or the or the maternal haplogroup. Um, okay. I, I just just the DTF gene. DTF. You know what DTF means, right? No. Mm mm mm. DTF. Oh, yeah. Did you notice my phone uh, number on your caller ID? Yeah. It's 6969. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> she, she hung up. Hello? Oh, no. I think it hung up. She hung up on me. I didn't get to tell her what the DTF gene was. Damn it. I thought I was about to get some, but nope. All right, so um, there's one left. They're probably not going to pick up. That was probably the very end. Let me try the last one. Got to change my caller ID. Earlier when I was doing these, I wasn't changing my caller ID as much. I was calling from all over the country to these places. Or, I mean, from the same place to all these people. So they probably didn't want to pick up because I was out of area. But now I'm being more sneaky about it. The last person is Carolyn. I don't know what I'm going to say to her. I guess I could ask her about Kenny Loggins. Or I could tell her I'm her father. Or the labs aren't receiving a signal. We need to flip all the switches. Hello, you're not available now. Aww. Matthew is the one that had the clone idea, apparently. So, so thanks for that, Matthew. That was a good one. I don't think they bought it, but it was fun, at least. This is Chad calling from 23andMe. We've discovered an anomaly with your genes referred to as the fuckface gene. Okay, Ian. The person you have dialed can't take your call now. Come on. Okay, okay, one more try. Try one more time. Chris Little wants me to say hang up the phone. Giad says Carol wants to swap family recipes. Oh, you're not available. Darn it. Please leave your name. All right, so I guess that's it for the night. My fourth cousin, Carolyn, she doesn't want to pick up the phone right now. 
But I do still have a list here of, I don't know, like uh, uh, probably 10 or 15 people that I'm going to have to try on a different day. Maybe I'll try them on Saturday or Sunday when they're more likely to be home and I'll have better luck. But this has been fun, right? Calling up all of my relatives. I've never done a prank call show where every single recipient is a blood relative. I think this is a first in prank calling history. And I think I'm going to do this again. I mean, I still have half of my list to go, but man, I don't know if I'm going to do the rest on my list because it took forever. It seems like, though, that I could just call up random people because so many people are doing the genetic testing stuff these days that even if they'd never done a genetic test, I could say, well, you know what? Your, your sister did a genetic test and that's how we got your name because she put you in there and we have her DNA. So we know this about you that you're 13% doorknob, you know, stuff like that. I think we definitely need to do more of these shows, just not with my actual relative's information, because it just took forever today to look everyone up. What a big pain in the ass. All right, let's listen to some voicemails. Voicemails will be more interesting than today's show. Brad, Brad. I'm from California here. Oh, hey. Um, just wanted to call in, say, um, I think you're a true artist. Um, oh, uh, brought me so many uh, hours of joy with the Snow Punch show. Um, I prank called my wife boys. Uh, from one of the few remaining uh, pay phones in my area uh, recently. I think you would have been proud. Cactus, wow. cactus. That's awesome. Glad you're enjoying everything. Hey, Roy. It's me. Hey. Just thinking about you. Okay. And work. It's 6 p.m. All righty. Um, Bye. Well, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Thanks for the aids. Anytime. Must be one of my DNA relatives. It's me, Denver. So I'm calling um, just to say thank you. Hey, I, I have DNA relatives in Denver. I'm listening to so many hours of your show. Maybe you're one of them. Uh, between the, the old stuff and the new stuff, oh my goodness, you put in so much, and it's it's amazing that yeah, you've actually captured it and uploaded it. What have I done with my um, life? I have to say, by far, the, some of the old stuff with the hacking, like the voice authentication episode. Yeah. Oh my goodness. The good old days when I actually put effort into my shows and. <laughs> Yes, that was, that was insane. Uh, it seemed unreal. Uh, and then with uh, the security camera episode, um, it shows how easy and hard some of the stuff can be. And I really like you put in the effort. And um, I guess to get down to it, too, Thank we you. even do some of the most simple prank calls, like the hang up the phone. I tried that myself. Oh, my God. I can't believe it worked. People are so stupid. Yep. Yep. Um so, yeah, I like Everyone, that some things you do to be that complex, one. and uh, you can expose how easy they are, as well as some things can be so easy that you don't need any elaborate ruse. You just you just say, hey, hang up the phone, and it works. Yeah. So Everyone should do that one. I don't know. Um, don't upload this one. I don't give you permission. I'm what? from Pennsylvania. Oh, no, nope, uh, too late. Keep up the good work. You have definitely another follower, um, if that means anything to you. What do you mean you. don't I upload know, this? I'll send you money on Patreon. Don't call the voicemail phone. if you don't want it uploaded. Or something. Um, yeah, so, love you, Brad, or right. whatever Thanks. your name is. Thanks. This is Bye. Denver, uh, signing off. Away! Nope, you can't do that, even if you're saying nice things about me. Sorry, Denver. Hey, Roy, it's T. Falcon here. Hey, uh, T. Falcon. I know it's been quite a long time since I've called in. Probably, it feels like a year or so. Probably. Uh, but, uh, anyway, I, uh, have been busy with college, but I have made time to listen to your show again. That's great. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to start calling in again. Uh, Woo. T. Falcon has returned, motherfucker. Yay. Yeah. Be on the lookout, everyone. All right, I'll talk to you later, Brad. He's back. Bye. I'm pretty sure in one of the shows not too long ago, I made fun of somebody because they sounded like T. Falcon. I'm nearly certain, unless I deleted that part out of the show. Sometimes I do that. But now you have to go back and listen to all of the most recent shows so you can see where I was talking shit about you. Hey, I was going to call in and uh, make fun of you or complain about something, but then I heard you say, uh, I make enough women cry in real life. Nice. No complaints today. Uh, Keep it up. I'm glad we can bond over that. That's the thing that makes you like me. That's great. Quick, a very quick idea is... Hey, Nobby guy, are you going to be at the California meetup? You should fly out real quick. I'm sure it'll be a cheap flight. Oh, anytime you're speaking to a lady, call her a vagi. A vag- Just call the lady vagi. It's a slang term for vagina. Bye. Yeah, I, I get it. Did you say vagi or vagic? Both are pretty good slang terms, I guess. <laughs> I just finished listening to 
the thing with Carol telling people that, like the raffle when you're died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was so fucking funny. You should do that. Like that was that first call. I was just so I was just laughing. I don't even so remember hard. it. Hard. <laughs> like it's just so funny. I, I it reminded me a little bit of like when you used to do those Sensei Doug prank calls and um, to kind of pit people against each other. And like one time, uh, two times, two or three times, maybe even more than that, you actually got people to like go across the street and like confront each other at the different respective stores. And I was like dying laughing. And That's something so we should be videotaping. Just always just do the Carol thing a lot. Kev here is uh, signing out. Cactus, cactus. Yeah, that should have been the calls of mass confusion, getting people to confront Sensei Doug when he doesn't wow. exist. Wow, hey Brad, uh, it's uh, it's it's a guy that. Uh, anyway, I'm in yeah I'm in the, the Twilight Lounge in Salt Lake City, and guess what? There's a payphone here, oh, and shit. I'm calling you from it. Oh no! The number that is being called to you is a payphone. I see it. Uh, inside of a bar inside of Salt Lake City, inside of Utah. Wow, in a in bar. It's and crazy. Guess what? Um, I'm calling you, and uh, it was a free call. So, you know what would be a good idea? Oh, this would be a good idea on, like, Friday or Saturday when this bar is popping. All right. Maybe you, just, you call this number, you call the payphone, and yeah. talk with the drunk patrons. They're probably okay, closed right baby. now. I'm going to keep in time. I'm drunk. Okay, bye-bye. I love right. you, baby, sweetie, honey. Um, that was weird. Oh, hey, what's happening? What's What is... There's more texts here after he said that, so I kind of want to sit here and wait and see what happens. This is a weird payphone. We've still got a minute left. I'm going to... Wait. Hello? 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 He picked back up. I think the payphone rang back to him. For Jash? What? Thanks for calling uh, Blockbuster Video. I'm going to be a right. assistant. This is weird. Uh, wait, did someone else call it? Who is it? Wait, uh... Is it Brad? Brad! Here, wait, he wants to talk to you. What? There's several people in there that know who I am? What the f- What? Hello? You tell the bartender about me? Brad? Yeah, it just it, Roy? it rang back. You hung up improperly or something. Is this Sensei Doug? All right, it, it just goes on like that for a while. But you know what I'm going to do? I am going to call that payphone right now. I doubt it's going to be the bar is going to be open. But you never know. It, it could it could happen. Twilight. Hey there. This is Brad Carter from the Phone Losers of America. Um, can you tell your patrons... Hold on one sec. Ah. Hey, sorry, I couldn't hear you. Oh, it's okay. This is Brad Carter from the Phone Losers of America, and your patrons have been prank calling me. Can you tell them to cut it out? From Was this tonight? Ah, uh, no, it was a few nights ago. They are just prank calling me from your payphone. Just, just tell them to cut it out. All right, will do. All sorry right. about that. Do, do you promise? It was on Monday. Is that really a bar payphone? I think they're on the same line as the business line. So if I call it, it doesn't really matter because they're just going to answer as the business. Hey, you dirty hooker. It's me, Whoa. Gary Busey. Brad Carter. Well, not Brad Carter's son. Yeah, I'm, um, idiot. I'm Redbeard's son. He's my dad, and yeah. I am his son. I get it. Um, you can you to, please tell my phone? You need to find your own identity instead of Redbeard's son. Because really, who the fuck is Redbeard? Who does he think he is? Be your own person. Come on, just Stop run away from home. And- winking his butthole at me, and also SDFU, because he keeps winking his butthole at me, and also tell your little little sister to shut the right fuck up. I told him I was calling the police, and he keeps yelling at me. He keeps saying, "Please don't call Reno 911." Yeah, yeah. And it's just a problem, and I really want. I just. Can you please tell my four-year-old brother to stop winking his butthole at me? All right. Oh, Thank that's you your little brother, much. not your little sister. Uh, okay. You're my favorite dirty hooker. Please. Goodbye, brother. Stop winking your butthole, little brother, I guess. Bye, Redbeard's son. Hi, Roy. No. I just noticed this legally in the UK. I like your recent phone call where you were sort of seeing that girl again. All of her friends. 
Yeah. That was my favorite, too. Whatever you just said. Hey, Brad. Lord of Veggies. Hey. No, it's been a while. It so I was looking at uh, one of your accounts on YouTube, and I came across your evidence unboxing video. What? And I have a question. What? what was in the box that freaked you out? Can you tell us yet? Didn't, All right, let didn't, us know. Bye. Didn't, didn't I write what that was in the Patreon? I thought I wrote it on the post. Maybe I didn't. But you know what? That's only for Patreon people to know about. You should ask that question on Patreon. And I will tell you what it was in that box that the FBI accidentally gave to me. It's also in the court transcripts. I think that's hey. mentioned in there. Hey, Brad. Just a question. Like, okay. Have you ever thought, like, if you want to do anything, like, on the side of the show? Like, you still do the show, but, like, a dream or something? Or, like, or, like, something you always want to do that doesn't have any wall print calling? I do that. Just just the question. I already do that. Okay, bye. I do. I do the hang up the phone show, which is the opposite of prank calling. There's people calling in and fucking with me. And I do Brad's Cactus Shack over at NotLA.com. I guess there's some prank calling in that sometimes. But yeah, every once in a while, I do something that has nothing to do with prank calls. Not very often, but sometimes. That was the last voicemail. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? I noticed the other day that some voicemails every once in a while end up in the spam box. Like, there's a bunch here from 2016 where I think somebody set up an automated thing to call from different phone numbers and just say the same thing over and over and over. And those all ended up in spam. I didn't even see those. So, good job failing at that, whoever you were. But here's one. Roy, this is Spam Goblin, motherfucker. Spam Goblin. Please do another hang up the phone show. Yeah, I'll do that. I absolutely love that. Okay. That was from June of 2017. I guess I should mark that as not spam. And there's a few others in here. I should just move these over because some of them are real. Some of them are not spam. So maybe I'll do all this later. But that's the end of today's show. Thank you for listening, everyone. And thank you to the sponsors of today's show, Curaz and Teen Wolf Jesus, Badger Teeth, Cody No Name, and Random. Those are five of the sponsors over at patreon.com slash phone losers. Please support the show. If you'd like to support the show, you get extra shows most weeks. You can also support the show by going to phonelosers.com slash cactus and newproject2 slash phonelosers. There's three whole ways to support the show now. If you want to support the show, you get to see things like a video that I put up of me unboxing all of my stuff that was confiscated by the FBI, which I forgot that I even put up anywhere. And I bet you if you read the description, well, maybe I didn't write down what that was. Maybe I should. You should ask me in the comments. Oh, you're done. I'm done with you, and I am on it, Bob. <laughs>